So here we are in Congress where this week uh, the group Veterans for Peace has been holding actions in 25 cities across the country and what they have been doing is uh, giving to members of Congress a letter that links to a very extensive report that they did showing how U.S. support for Israel is violating U.S. policy. And so it goes into violation of conventional arms transfer policy, Foreign Assistance Act, U.S. War Crimes Act, Arms Export Control Act, Leahy Law, and the Genocide Convention Implementation Act. So we have with us here Ellen Barfield from Veterans for Peace. Could you talk a little about what you've been doing? We've made a huge dent in the last three days and we may very well get this delivered to every office. About 25 chapters around the country are doing various actions, visits to congressional offices and to corporations that feed into the arms trade in DC and, and nearby. It made sense to visit Congress and remind them that our administration is breaking a long list of U.S. laws, international laws too, of course, but sadly a lot of these folks don't care about international law, but one hopes they care about U.S. law. And we're reminding them that it doesn't really matter anymore which side you're on, who you think's wrong or right. This is a catastrophe, it's only worsening. Other nations in the region are getting pulled in. It may even go nuclear, and it really has to stop. And if Congress could please pull together an investigation based on these laws, our own laws that our administration is breaking, that would be another step forward in finally getting it to stop. A very simple message, let's obey our own laws.